Historically, Owens Lake had remained dry since the construction of the Los Angeles Aqueduct in 1913. The aqueduct facilitated the transfer of water from the Sierra Nevada Range and Owens River Valley to meet the demands of Los Angeles, resulting in a significant depletion of the lake's water levels. In March, when floodwaters collected on the western side of the aqueduct, they led to soil erosion beneath the concrete-lined channel. As a result, three sections of the aqueduct near Olancha collapsed, necessitating repairs and drainage. To manage the situation, the LADWP opened spill gates, allowing water to flow downstream. Subsequently, a portion of the floodwater combined with other water sources and cascaded over the bed of Owens Lake. Adam Perez, manager of the Los Angeles Aqueduct for the LADWP, acknowledged that while the current situation may bring short-term benefits, the long-term consequences could pose significant challenges. The record snowfall in the southern Sierras during the past winter has fueled concerns that Owens Lake's water level could rise up to eight times its current volume by the end of this summer. The LADWP has previously invested substantial funds in infrastructure to address environmental issues stemming from the dry lake bed, including the prevention of massive dust storms. However, officials now fear that the rising water level could exceed the capacity of the infrastructure, potentially leading to severe damage in the surrounding areas. Efforts are underway to closely monitor the situation and assess the potential risks associated with the increased water levels at Owens Lake. The LADWP is working diligently to mitigate any adverse effects and protect the aqueduct's integrity while ensuring the safety of nearby communities.